Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. All right, so this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, we're gonna go ahead into it. Welcome to my new subscribers or new viewers, and welcome back to my returning subscribers and viewers. All right, how was you guys' last half of August? If it was like mine, it probably like suckf.com, seriously. But you know, we're still going through this retrograde in Saturn. But things is going to come and it's going to get better during the second half of September. Saturn goes direct, right? So we just recently had this uh, new moon in Virgo in Western astrology. And I'm actually recording on this day, the 30th of August. So here we go, love bugs. First card out, we have the Empress. Then we have the Hanged Man. Followed by the High Priestess. Wow, you guys. You guys are getting like lots of major arcana. So this is like like divine intervention. God is here and put his hand. All right, then we have the Ten of Swords. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Judgment card here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so, oopsie. Let's scooch these really quick, guys. All right, Cardamancy part. Yes, this is a mix of Tarot and Cardamancy. So we have the Ace of Heart in the upright. We have the Four of Clubs, the Two of Hearts, we have the Jack of Hearts, we have the King of Clubs, and we have the Ace of Spades. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Diamonds. Okay, so let's see what I see in you guys' reading. All right, so for some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, a water sign, um, an earth sign. Yeah. Fire, earth, water. Yeah. All right. So I'm seeing uh, Taurus, Libra. I'm seeing Pisces. Um, I'm seeing Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then, of course, I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and another fire sign, which I will just chalk this up as you, Aries. But you could be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius or another Aries as well. All right, love bugs. So I'm going to go into the tarot part. Then I'm going to hit the card of Mancy, and then we're going to mesh it all together. What I'm seeing here is, all right, you may be, may get, or may know of somebody that is pregnant. All right. These two cards tell me pregnancy. Alright. What I'm also seeing here is like death to mind games. Finally, you know. Finally, there was something that's like surrendering to it. Um, this could also be a mother figure. But what I'm seeing is like. Um, you know somebody that's pregnant. Now, for a very small amount of you, the, there may be a miscarriage. And I say that because um, there's two times, like, I see miscarriage here, and then I see miscarriage here. All right, so for a small amount of you now, there could have been a miscarriage, okay? Um, what I'm seeing too is like for those of you that are pregnant, it's like you're hung up and you don't know whether to tell or not. What it's saying is, is like you're needing to make this call. You could be pregnant by an earth sign or you could be pregnant by somebody with fire in their chart. doesn't matter what sign they are. Um, but it's like what I'm seeing here too is like for those that are not dealing with a miscarriage and my condolences to the ones that are having a miscarriage unless it is like a blessing in disguise which I always feel like it is I mean it might not feel like it right now but it's like a blessing in disguise alright because there could be some things that you're not realizing you know with this high priestess out it's like not seeing something alright so 
with the high um the uh, empress the hanged man and the high priestess somebody may be keeping their mouth shut about a pregnancy as well it's like they don't know what to do and they're just going to keep their mouth shut about a pregnancy all right if this is not in regards to pregnancy and this is in regards to work a job a career even doing your own business doing your own thing this person is like waiting for this moment but it's like their intuition is telling us like okay we need to keep this hush hush for right now all right because why is because this person is waiting for this opportunity to be finalized, all right? We have the Ten of Swords, Queen of Pents, and the Judgment card here. So, in regards to a career, in regards to a business, it's like, all right, the mind games are over. I've mentally cleared out all the clutter. Remember, like this full moon, or this new moon that happens in Virgo, it's about clearing out the clutter in our, our own minds. It's like that Virgo OCD. I love Virgos, okay? They have that OCD about them. It's like, all right, think, 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 think. All right, it's like Pooh Bear. I love it. Um, but it's like, all right, I'm done with the thinking, Becky. I'm so done with the thinking, all right? I'm ready to make a commitment to to go towards something, to, to uh, nurture something into fruition. It's like, all right, this is that time. This is that chance. This is that second call. This is time to take action, boo-boo, all right? Now, for the ones dealing with the pregnancy, it's like, all right, now the worry is over. I'm like, okay, I think I'm ready to become a mom. All right, because now I'm mom and it's like I'm hung up. Okay, am I going to be doing a good job? Am I going to be able to provide for my child? Am I going to be able, you know, you have all those mental things. You have those fears, worries, and anxieties in becoming a mother. Are you going to be able to provide? That's what I'm seeing the most, all right? The most out of this is like your intuition is telling you, yes, you can do this. You can achieve this, all right? Not to worry, to trust. And things are going to be awesome sauce you are going to be able to like you know make this decision okay and this decision you're going to love you're going to feel really good about you know you have to do what's best for you and it's like no judgment here honestly no judgment you know if you're needing to um, abort the child due to whatever your own reasons are then needing to listen to yourself what I'm seeing here is like a lot of you are fearing about being a good parent is what I'm seeing about being a good parent and you guys are going to be awesome parents all right not to have those fears worries and anxieties with that <clears throat> with that that knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck in the tarot section it's like all right things have been moving slowly back I don't know it's like uh, pause for a cause pause for a cause now it's like as soon as this Saturn um, goes direct on the 18th of September or the 17th, depending on where you're at, right? Things are gonna start moving, right? So needing to make that decision before then, and if you're not making that decision, then the universe is interjecting and making that decision for you. But either way, I'm seeing it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be really good because why? It brings stability. It brings security. What is security, Becky? What is stability? Feeling safe within yourself. Feeling like you can accomplish anything that you put your mind to, then you know that it takes hard work, energy, and effort in. Okay? So, cardamancy time. All right. So, we have the Ace of Hearts underneath the Jack or the the jack of hearts underneath the ace of hearts so this is like good news coming in communication this communication become like text message phone call video call whatever the case may be all right and this is really good news this is like fam from a family member from a friend from a soulmate whatever but this connection because this ace of heart is in the upright is a connection that is a solid connection all right so then we have the four of clubs with this king of fire. So this to me is like building a foundation, all right? Building that foundation, taking action. Again, if this is in regards to work, you know, you building your own thing or building your own abundance, whatever abundance is to you, right? It's going to be like, you are going to be awesome. This is building that foundation. Also for some of you, especially with this, uh, this king of 
clubs here. This could also be traveling, traveling for work, traveling for pleasure, whatever. But it's a trip by car, okay? Um, elders of you, this is in regards to home. Finally getting a home, all right? <clears throat> finally getting a home, finally selling a home, whatever it is. You're getting a new home, all right? And then we have the two of hearts with this ace of clubs. Now, this the two of hearts to me is my pregnancy card. This is also a child card, but this is like either a child is involved or, you know, pregnancy. How I'm seeing it is pregnancy, all right? And with that ace of uh, ace of spades here, this is like death and transformation. Like what was like, okay, that's where I was like, okay, this there may be some very small of you that amount of you that are going through a miscarriage. Now for others of you, this is like, all right, my life was like empty and it was very like alone and now it's transforming now i'm having a family now it's like a new journey a new chapter has became in my become in my life or has come to my life and it's like okay it's it's like i'm going to be a parent all right that's a new chapter end of an old chapter beginning of a new chapter with that three of uh, diamonds on the bottom of the deck some of you are having this fickleness and changeability now in regards to a career decision you are going to get some type of small finance there may be a part-time job that you get all right um, but for in a relationship this is changeability and fickleness fickleness and changeability is like in and out you can't decide rather you want to stay or go rather you want to do this or that so let's see what else do I see For some of you guys, um, what I'm seeing also is mistress material. What do I mean by that? Uh, the Empress, the um, the Hanged Man, and the High Priestess. Empress and High Priestess to me is like a secret mistress. All right? Some of you guys are just going to be done and over with and focusing on your finances, focusing on your career. Others of you, it's like finally a decision has been made. Somebody was chosen and somebody's like the mind games, the fears, the worries, anxieties. They're just done. And what happens is there's commitment. All right. Now, for others of you that are in that similar boat, but you're not the one like, you know, you decided to cut all ties off. Then, hey, you deserve like I Becky, I don't deserve to be a mistress or a uh, the side chick or the side dude, whatever, you know, I don't feel like that's me. Well, boo boo, then what you're going towards is somebody that is going to come in and is going to commit to you. OK, it's going to be slow journey, but slow and steady wins the race. OK, I do definitely see a change of home. I do see action and I see planning. Um, for others of you, you're really needing to hone in and listen to your intuition, all right? Because um, this could also just, if not pregnancy or not children, you're not dealing with children or pregnant. Uh, or know somebody is pregnant or is getting somebody pregnant then this is also just like um, emotional it's like allowing your emotions because some of you guys could be hiding your emotions and the thing is to take action on those emotions to allow those emotions in you need to decide all right how to handle these emotions and these are it's a new journey for you guys all right So oh, let's go into the romance angels and spirit told me to shuffle three times and whatever comes out for you guys is what's meant to come out all right one there's some cards for Aries for Aries for the first half of September 2019 Aries Sun Moon Rising and Venus one all right so you guys got two cards that popped out all right the first card says release your ex 
all right it is time uh, the time has come to clear your energy so that ten of swords release your ex there was some of you that was saying you need your your mistress material and you're like becky i'm done with being a mistress release that ex all right for some of you <clears throat> that have already released your ex you're needing to clear your energy out of your ex it's like it's not now the time to clear that energy why because something is trying to come in but you can't allow it to come in unless you clear out the old so out with the old and with the new death and transformation and this came up upright all right i do do um reversals in the uh cardamancy part all right the second card says pay attention to the red flags the signs are the, the there's a lot of caution there's a lot of things you're going to notice things notice situations and it's like there's something your intuition is telling you hey listen <laughs> this sounds like um what's the navi from zelda if you guys played zelda before navi's like look listen so it's like your intuition is telling you hey listen listen to your intuition listen to your emotions all right then once you've used discernment because judgment is also about using discernment all right discernment like really thinking it through really feeling it through like once you've analyzed everything then you can make this decision all right then death and transformation happen then out with the old and with the new bottom of the deck stay optimistic about your love life all right says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance now for some of you guys that are ending relationships with somebody or may have been in a third party situation it's like okay i'm done i'm done becky i'm done all right have faith you're going to get what you're meant to get why because the first card that came out for you guys in the tarot was the empress all right rather you're male or female right rather you're masculine or feminine Basically, it's saying, look, you got this goal about you. You got this awesome sauce about you. This is Venus, all right? Venus is that law, uh, that, that planet of attraction, of love, of diplomacy, of fortune. It's small finances, small fortune, but, you know, it's a start, right? Something's better than nothing. I'm just saying, all right? <laughs> so, let's go ahead with the lovers oracles first one says don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others all right so don't base your decisions on guilt like oh i'm gonna feel bad for them no don't don't feel bad for them why do you why must you feel bad for them like, yes, you're supposed to have compassion, but nobody can make you feel any way unless you want to feel that way, all right? And then don't base it upon things that you think you should do. Or, I think I should do this. I th No. What is it that you really want to do? You want to stay or not? You want to keep the baby or not? Like, be true. Speak your truth. Aries. Next card says, when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you shared with those you love all right so this is not about being materialistic this is not about being rich snitch all right because i want to wear this and i want to have this and i want that and i want that all right like material things yes they're nice they're shiny they're pretty awesome all right but when you die where does it really go and if you guys say it well i'm gonna pass it on to my children how do you do you know how many eight track players have not made it past their children like oh my gosh even teenagers these days or yeah teenagers these days don't even know what a cassette player or vhs player is and they're like wow that's some old pc equipment y'all might want to keep that in the smithsonian you know so again material things you know yes indulge but don't overindulge don't just be all about the material you know what i like to do with my money it when i do have some 
is I like to spend it on um, creating memories, doing something, uh, doing something with people that I really care about. Like uh, if I have like 30 bucks left in my account, I'll order a pizza and then we'll just all have conversations and food. You know, that's what, that's like the riches in life, all right? At least for me. You guys may have different karmas, all right? So the last one says time. All right, or no, it says, tr yeah, it says time. You are trying too hard, give it time. All right, Aries, the reason why I can speak to you guys and the reason why I also know why I have so many Aries viewers and subscribers is because my moon is in Aries, all right? In Western astrology, my moon is in Aries. I am a control freak. I know this about myself, all right? I'm blunt, I'm brash, I'm irrational, and I'm a control freak. Those are you know, those could be positives and negatives about it. But what I am also is very passionate, very caring. I will push people, especially if I understand and know, like, like, you know, I really care about them and I can see, surpass what they're seeing. That That's an Aries feature. And then we're also creative, creative at AF, as F, you know, and we just, we just kind of like, our journey is about speaking our truth. All right, knowing who we are above anything else. All right, so basically, stop trying to push time. Stop trying to like, oh my God, Becky, when is it coming? When is it coming? When is it coming? Oh, boo boo, I know, I know. Believe me, I freaking know. It's frustrating as f. All right, I want it to come too, but our journey is to relinquish control. Relinquish control when it comes to stuff like this that we really truly want and desire. And we're leaving it up to God, we're leaving it up to the universe, we're leaving it up to the higher being upstairs. We just got to trust. We got to give it time. All right. Remember, things that go up fast, go down fast. All right. So that's what I have for you, love bugs. This is your first half September 2019 prediction um, if this message resonates you guys know what to do if it did not and you're interested in a personal reading with me check downstairs below hit me up for a personal reading and i will see you guys the second half of september all right oh and the song for you guys was boom clap by charlie xcx all right so check out that song and it's a really good song. I really like it. All right. So that's what I have for you. Love you guys. Namaste.